Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today got a really cool product to take a look at. Um, I'll have to take it out of the boxes here because these boxes are pretty big. But this is from a company called MechPow. So MechPow. And this is their MechPow X3 Pro laser engraver. So this is really neat. I've uh, always wanted to kind of take a look at some of these on the channel. And I'm super excited to take a look at this one. As part of this video, I'm going to do an unboxing, set it up, and then I'll do some maybe uh, additional videos of it doing stuff and maybe show some of the results of what I've tried to engrave or cut with it. So we'll just go ahead and jump into this and I'll kind of talk about it as we go along. Now there's two parts to this. This one is a honeycomb working table. So this is where you would put things on top of that you want to actually uh, you know, cut with the laser cutter or engrave with the laser cutter. So this one is already put together. It's just a single piece. So go ahead and uh, unbox this and show you what that looks like. So basically this is a two-part table. You have the honeycomb uh, itself and it has some little pop-out uh, positioner pieces or, or whatnot there. Um, they kind of plug in there. That's what it looks like. And then there is a back plate which is an aluminum. This has like a blue plastic layer on there. And then there's also some rubber, I'm assuming rubber feet for it. So that's what the actual working table looks like. As you can see, there's some markings for measurement, inches and probably millimeters on the bottom and the side. And then this is the main laser engraving machine, which obviously comes in a bunch of parts. So this is gonna be a little bit of a thing to put together. Uh, this is the air pump, right? So, user manual for the air pump, the pump itself, power adapter. So that's the air pump. And then this is the user manual for the MechPal. Talks about it, all the instructions on how to put this thing together. So there is a bunch of stuff in here. Give you a little screwdriver that you can use to assemble this. But then there's you know, a bunch of different aluminum extrusions with screws and all of that, so you can put it together. Some eye protection from the laser. This is probably the actual laser assembly itself. And yeah, just a bunch of other pieces and parts to put this together. Power adapter. Power cable, USB cable. Then it also looks like they gave you some little test pieces of some particle board aluminum. So maybe we can use these to do some test engravings or test cuttings. But this is what you get in the box. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead and off camera put this together because I'm gonna have to, it's gonna, it's bigger than the table that I have here to actually put this together. I'll put it together and I'll come back on camera and we can take a look at how it's how it operates and how it's built and all of that. But before I do that, just to give you some quick specs, this does have 10 watts of laser power, has a 0 0.01 millimeter engraving accuracy, which comes out to a 0 0.06 by 0 0.08 millimeter compressed spot. So that's the laser size. Features a flame sensor, tilt alarm so if you tilt this or it senses you know like something's catching on fire burning right it will stop has a security lock with a key so you can turn this off if you don't want anybody messing with it has limit switches on the x and y axes so you know it can kind of know the bounds of it uh, of, of where the head is it is a fixed focus and, and I, there is like a focus assist block that you need to use to make sure that it's the right height off of the uh, whatever you're trying to etch or engrave. And this can cut a wood board up to a 20 millimeter thickness. 
and acrylic up to 15 millimeters of thickness. You know, it's from a cutting ability, that's what it can cut. Then obviously you can engrave on all sorts of different things. You can engrave on uh, wood, acrylic, leather, bamboo, fabric, stainless steel, paper, and cut paper too. Um, you know, glass, ceramics, etc. And this is compatible with various laser software, including uh, for Windows, Laser GRBL, and then Lightburn, which also works on um, Windows and Mac. So I'm gonna be using this with uh, Lightburn because I do have a Mac. So once we get to that portion of the video, I'll show you what that looks like and maybe uh, you know show you the screen of what I'm gonna actually try to cut out or etch or engrave. And then the, the engraving area is 16 inch, basically 16 inches by 16 inches. So it's 16.1 inches by 15.7 inches. And that's the standard area. And then you can extend the Y axis um, with an extension module from MechPow that will give you uh, a Y axis of 29.5 inches. So same width, but then 29.5. So if you wanted to, to work on some sort of bigger materials and things like that, you can do that with that extension. I do not have that. I just have the standard, um, you know, the standard size. So what I'm going to do now, like I said, I'll jump over. I will put this together and then come back on this video when that's complete. And we can take start taking a look at uh, the assembly, how this goes together, and uh, go from there. So I'll snap my fingers and we'll be back. So this wasn't that hard to set up. I uh, basically followed the directions, put together the MechPal laser engraver. As you can see here, this is what the control panel looks like. There's the on off switch, there's a key, there's a reset button, auto stop, uh, alarm. You know, there's the key, you can turn it on, turn the switch on, and you hear it kind of wind up. It's the emergency stop button I just turned off. And then basically this is what the unit looks like. Now I did start to try to burn like this lion face into the particle board and there was way too much smoke in the basement. And since <laughs> I'm inside my house, I didn't want to continue with that because it was making a lot of smoke and I have a smoke detector downstairs and everything. So that was a little bit um, surprising to me how much smoke came from it, but obviously it is burning wood, so there is obviously going to be smoke. So here I took the aluminum panel that they they sent with the unit as part of the package there. I set the focus depth with that little plastic plexiglass piece, and then I went to try to burn the same picture that I had. Obviously, after adjusting some of the, the settings in the software, now this is going way too fast to actually etch the aluminum, which I realized after the fact that, you know, I need to slow down how fast it's going, basically. But as you can see, this is how it works, right? So it's, it's kind of moving around. You can see the laser flashing as it's etching or, or trying to etch, I guess in this case. And then here I did the same thing on the particle board instead of the aluminum. And you can see it's starting to make uh, actual lines in the wood. But I turned the power down and I left the speed the same just so I could see how it would work. And obviously it's cutting, but it's not putting out a bunch of smoke at this point. So I was just basically trying to test to see, you know, how, how this worked without causing a bunch of uh, uh, smoke in my basement. Now, I guess definitely if you're gonna be using this to actually etch and cut and do all of those sorts of things, you're probably gonna to wanna to do this in your garage or if you have in some sort of workshop or your shed or something, or you're gonna to have to find some sort of uh, smoke containment or filtering system uh, to put around this or enclosure around this because like I said, you're burning materials with the laser and it's gonna it's gonna get uh, you know smoky and smelly for sure. Uh, so that's what that looks like. As you can see, it's it's hard to tell. It's supposed to be a lion face, just the outlines of it. And, you know, obviously it's lightly cut into the wood because of the settings that I was using for all the reasons I just mentioned. And I am using the light burn software for Mac, if I didn't mention that before. And then here also I just did the outline of a Batman logo that I downloaded. 
And as you can see, I just did the outline here. Now with this last piece, I did hook up the air assist. As you can see, it kind of connects via tube to the laser head. And I actually had purchased some uh, business card size uh, aluminum, uh, I guess, engraving blanks from Amazon. And then here I was actually, I just found a Cybertruck logo, uh, kind of like a script writing from, you know, Tesla Cybertruck that they're coming out with. And then I thought that would be kind of cool to try to etch onto the metal cards. And as you can see, it's, it's doing a pretty good job on, on this black metal. Um, and you, you can either use the air assist or not. I didn't find that it made any difference when I was doing this particularly. But as you can see, you can crank it up and then the air is basically getting pushed through the tube into the head. And the whole point there is that it's supposed to blow any debris that gets kicked up by the laser and kind of keep that surface clean. Uh, and it really depends on what you're etching, what you're trying to cut on whether or not that that's going to be useful or not. And then here's what it looks like after I'm totally done. And that actually turned out really cool. So definitely this is a really awesome, uh, you know, thing to have. And you can just basically, you know, cut, etch, burn, do all kinds of stuff with it. Very cool. So overall, I had a really uh, great time reviewing this and taking a look at this MechPow laser engraver. Now, I had to publish this video and I didn't, I ordered a bunch of other materials to try engraving. I just haven't received them yet. Uh, uh, it looks like they're on back order. So I may have to come back at the future in a future time and kind of do a follow up video with, uh, you know, some more experience in engraving with this and whatnot. Like I said, I'll probably have to find a place in my garage to move this so that I can actually do some more of the uh, heavy duty cutting and whatnot, because it does kick up quite a bit of smoke and and smell that I just, you know, my wife won't like me doing in the house, so that's something I have to kind of figure out. But overall, you know, I will link to this in the description so you can go take a look on the Geek Buying website if you're interested in this. It's also available on Amazon. And, uh, and all in all, you know, I think this is a pretty compelling value. Uh, if you're looking for kind of a laser diode 10 watt with an air assist, I don't think you can really find anything else um, on the market that competes in this price range. Uh, that supports, you know, standard, you know, the standard software that's out there, either the open source on the Windows side or Lightburn for Mac and PC or Linux. So super cool device, really, really looking forward to using this in the future. If you have any questions, go ahead and post those below. I'll be sure to answer. This is Andrew from T is for Tech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.